So for me, that was probably the biggest eye-opening experience is realizing that it's really not what happens to you, it's how you respond to it. Men seem to identify more with their jobs than women do. Women identify a lot more relationally, men identify a lot more with their jobs. So coming out of this pandemic, a lot of men have lost their jobs. How do you think that they need to be connecting more relationally in order to be able to get through what they're getting through without turning to some kind of substance or alcohol or even suicide? That's quite a deep question. Um, I think it all boils down to identity and what people find their identity in. And the reality is there are a lot of people, maybe a majority of people that find their identity in what they do and not who they are. And so whether that means connecting more on the relationship side or whether it's just being able to tap into an, a greater understanding of who you are outside of the things that you do on a daily basis, uh, I think that's gonna be huge. Um, because when things are taken away from you like a job okay, I used to go and hammer this nail into this board every single day, now I can't do that. Well, what was it about that that made me feel productive? And what else can I do to get that same feeling um, you know, without it being the exact same thing? But I think the real problem and the real um, situation is for people to really understand who they are uh, because they weren't the hammer, they weren't the guy that does that. That just happened to be something that they do but that's not who they are and so i think it's a really good time for people to reflect on you know who am i it's a very difficult question uh, but if people can tap into that then i think that's where the fulfillment the passion the enjoyment of life will come from um, and i think it gives people honestly a, a huge opportunity to kind of clean slate it and look at okay i have no job now what type of job, what kind of career, what type of things would I enjoy doing? Maybe I should try to do that instead of going back to something that I hate again or that I don't like again or that I had to deal with all these things that brought stress into my life. If you look at life giving versus life draining, what would be a more life giving thing for me to spend a huge amount of time in my life on versus just trying to find something very similar to what they were doing before? I think that will be a very, very uh, enriching and fulfilling opportunity for a lot of people um, if they choose you know, to think about it. Because it takes time. It's not, it's like figuring out who you are is no easy task. And figuring out based on who you are, what you think you would find most passion in doing is not easy. But if you can figure it out, that's, I mean, that's where true success and fulfillment will ultimately come from.